Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this video. I have a very exciting video prepared for all of you today and it's the university's campus tour. Yay! So, the University of Manchester is one of the biggest in the UK, which means we have a lot of students. It has about 40,000 students every year and to accommodate all of the students, we have a very big campus. The University of Manchester has two campuses. One's called the North Campus, where I currently am, and the second one is called the Main Campus, where the Arch of the University is located at. And essentially, the North Campus houses most of the engineering buildings like the aerospace, civil, mechanical, electrical. It also has fashion and material science. If you want to know what the university campus looks like, then keep on watching and I'll take you guys along with me. The first building I wanted to share with you guys is called Sackville Street Building and it's the oldest at the university. Construction began in 1895 and it currently is the building of electrical engineering, material science and engineering, as well as fashion. In October, it feels like summertime. Adjacent to the building is the Sackville Gardens, which is a small park located in the center of the city and it's a very special one since Alan Turing's memorial is in it, which is a sculpture in memory of him who was a pioneer of modern computing. On the opposite side of the Sackville Street building is another statue of another great mathematician who was Archimedes. Next, we have Reynolds Building, which is one of the biggest in North Campus. It has a lot of spacious lecture halls as well as smaller classes. As we go down the stairs of where I currently am, on my left, we have Barnes & Wallace, which is a student hub where you can chill, study, or just have a fun time. And it has a lot of study spaces you can book with your friends or just by yourself. You're the only sunset that I'll never forget. Hey guys, a bit of a story time. I lost the audio of this clip, so sorry if what I'm saying is mismatched with what it's showing. But essentially, I was standing in front of the George Beck building, and it's the house of aerospace engineering students. And it's a very special building for me because of the apparatus that it has. If you didn't know, Osborne Reynolds, who was a great man in fluid dynamics, studied here as well as lectured here, and his tank that he used for his experiment to determine the Reynolds number is still in the university. Welcome to the main campus and this is Stockford Building which is the building of medics, biology students as well as pharmacists and apparently this is the second biggest building at the university after Sackville and they have a really nice library. Been communicating through satellites, yeah. it's black and white. I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name. Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day. Like day by day. I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name. And this is the famous arch of the university. A lot of students take a picture here when they start their degrees. And on the left, it has Whitworth Hall, which is where the graduation ceremonies take place. From your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. The building we're currently filming is Bayer Building, and it's very famous for the color changes of its leaves. So right now in autumn it's red, but in the spring it's green, and in the winter it has no leaves. And I think it goes yellow at some point too. I just I don't know. I don't really come here because I have no lessons here, but it's a really nice like space and yeah i don't know what i'm saying space makes me sad cuz building called 
university place, but we call it the tin can because it resembles a tin or a can. And yeah, I don't know what kind of lessons take place in here, but it has a really nice canteen. It also has the university shop where you can buy merch. Next, we have the Kilburn building, which is for computer science students. I feel like it's such an ugly looking building from the outside and inside it's like a maze honestly like I've been in there and every single classroom is a computer cluster classroom In front of the very ugly looking Kilburn building we have the very fancy business school It has a very fancy name it's called the Alliance Manchester Business School and you can't get in the building unless you're a business student which is really sad And next up, we have Alan Turing, which is the Max building, and it's been named after the mathematician Alan Turing that I showed you guys earlier. And this is another great building, it's very big, it's very new. I've been in here, and oh my god, it's like so cool! I really like this building, it has a really nice roof and everything about this building is nice apart from the fact that it's for mathematicians only which i clearly am not yeah yeah i wonder where she hides under her disguise yeah 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 and all the girls around the world they want to be and all the dudes are trying to score like this is the house of physics students it's a double life what's on the show what's under the side of smile She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that features Hey guys, thank you guys so so much for watching. I'm ending the video here. I'm sorry if I couldn't show you guys the inside of the buildings. I lost my ID so I couldn't get into the buildings. And yeah, if you have any more questions, let me know down below. And if you have any recommendations of what I should film next, then also comment it down below. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and yeah, see you in my next one. Bye!